Hi, I'm Cody Bueller at the new disc golf course here in Portage, and today we're going to learn the basics of how to play disc golf. So, we're going to take a look first at the Frisbees. First, we're going to learn about the discs. There's three basic kinds of discs when it comes to disc golf. This one here is the driver. As you can see, there's a little bit of a sharper edge to it. It flies a lot farther, but it'll also curve a lot more in the air. So when it's throwing, it'll slice left and right so it's less accurate. The second kind of disc is the mid-range. This here is a truth. As you can see here, it's a little bit less sharp. It flies generally a little bit more straight. Doesn't go as far, but it is generally more accurate. Then the third kind of disc is the putter. These are for the in-close shots, and these are the ones you're going to want to do when you're right close to the basket. This looks like a more of a regular frisbee. It's got a bigger lip, it'll hover more in the air and go nicely into the basket. So when you're starting on a hole, you're generally going to want to use the driver or maybe a mid-range depending on how strong you are and depending how long the hole is. This one here, as you can see, the basket is way down at the end and this one is 344 feet from this long tee, the starting point. There are a number of different kinds of throws. There's two basic ones that we'll show you here today. The first one is the backhand. So this is just your standard throw like you see most people throwing a frisbee. Now when you throw a backhand and you're right-handed, it'll naturally want to fade to the left. So when you throw your backhand, you're going to want to keep it as straight across as possible. A good tip when you're throwing a disc golf disc for the first time is to start with it at shoulder height, bring it back, and then come straight across like you're throwing a frisbee. If you go up like that at an angle, you'll lose distance and it won't go very far. So here's just a basic toss of a backhand. When you're gripping it, you're going to want to have four fingers underneath, like the lip, like that. That's the general power grip. Your thumb on top, like this. And then you're going to want to take a little bit of a run-up. You're going to want to go up to the line and throw it across. So the second type of a throw is called a forehand. And these ones will naturally fade from the left to the right, just based on the spin of the disc. When you're throwing a forehand, you take your two fingers, you put them underneath like this, you push them up against the lip. You'll flip it over like this, and that's basically how you grip it. You'll throw it more like a baseball, and you're going to want to try and come sidearm across like this. So when you throw it, it'll be like this. All right, so once you get actually to your disc, once you've found it, where it landed, you will put down a marker right at the front of the disc like so, and you're then able to pick up your disc that you just threw. Some people will leave the disc there and then throw another disc, or other people will just place the disc that they, the other disc that they have and put it down there. Now this is for tournament play and things like that. If you're just playing casual in the park, you can just pick it up and throw it. Once you're there, you have to throw behind the disc where it landed as if there was an invisible line to the basket. I can't throw over to the side because that's not in line with the basket. I have to have at least one foot planted 18 inches behind the spot where the frisbee landed. This especially comes into play when you're behind trees. You have to have at least one foot there. And so once you get close to the basket, you're going to want to mark your disc just like before. Put it right in front. Grab the putter. Generally for putting, you're going to want to have an open hand just to kind of stabilize the disc and putt better. One thumb on top like this. Get ready. A lot of people when they show you to putt, say lean back and then lift forward and flick the foot. It looks kind of silly, but apparently that's the best way to putt. 